Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello viewers, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. We're here in Dompey's studio. We just finished getting a uh, mechanical tech type from this guy. And now I want to see what else we can get. Oh. Hang on, you have a monster stone, don't you? I love those things. I'll take monster stones for repairs rather than rupees if you're interested. Just talk to me if you need repairs. Well, we don't need repairs yet, so we're good to go on that score. Explosions galore. Concept, a jovial explosive automaton that leaves destruction in its wake. Yeah. Good stuff in there, eh? Ooh. Neat, huh? I know it'll be yet another ultra jazzy automaton, but the idea alone isn't enough. As usual, I need pr the proper inspiration to set me on fire, so I'm hoping you'll help me again. For the basis of this new art piece, let's yeah. see. I'm looking for a creature that spits stones out of its mouth. Octorok, obviously. But that won't be enough on its own. To make it a real zippy automaton, it'll need a m bit more inventiveness on my part. Yeah. So I'm thinking a firework that whooshes into the air would be great for that extra something. There's a guy up on Elden Volcano who crafts fireworks, so you might check there. I wrote it down in my journal, so have a look if you need more info. Yeah. You'll get one of my finest art pieces if you help me out on this. It'll be worth it. Okay. Well, after finishing up here, however long that took, I was going to go up to Death Mountain anyway. That's my plan. So, yeah. Apparently, I have to go visit a fireworks artisan up on the mountain. Fair enough. Let's see here. Right, there's this. That's something I want to get back to. That blasted cave in the graveyard with the guineas that I wasn't able to figure out the puzzle for in the previous episode. Because I'm pretty sure I've got it now. Guineas are all back. Uh, okay. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there either. So let's try this the uh, less aggressive way. Well, that's interesting. There used to be guineas in here in the, the last time I came in. All right, well, no biggie. I'd forgotten that you could target those things. Okay. What's the big guy going to do? Okay. 
Okay, he's not attracted to the teddy bear. Fair enough. Uh oh. I forgot about leaving out the teddy bear. Genie level two, huh? Makes sense that uh, the stronger Gini is not attracted to the uh, toy. Carrot harvested fresh from a field northwest of Hyrule Castle. This carrot is quite sweet. Horses come running for them. It looks like a cake. Or perhaps a plastic toy. Spiked roller. A large log with many knobby bits sticking out of it. Rolls downhill until something stops it. Lazalfos, a hunter by nature, this creature wields a razor sharp spear. It stabs prey with blinding speed. Torch slug, slimy and able to cling to walls and floors, this monster leaves a trail of flame wherever it goes. Beware. Mini Moldorm. Skittering through its mountainous home on many legs, this creature's quick and erratic movements confound foes. Okay. Gini. Eternally lonely, this one eyed ghost has an unfortunate tendency to lick potential friends. That's supposed to be its way of making friends? Really? I'm kind of skeptical about that. Guinea level 2. The largest type of guinea, this monster has a huge eyeball and a tongue to match its stature. It was pretty big. <laughs> Meh, a golden egg. Almost wasn't worth the trouble. But it would have rankled me if I hadn't figured it out. So, fine. We figured it out now. Right. And we need to go to Death Mountain. Hmm. I mean, I'll admit... When I started on Death Mountain a few episodes ago, I was doing it the slow way. By, you know, going up the uh, trail that you could ordinarily walk. When I have the ability to just climb up walls directly. But honestly, I like doing it that way, at least the first time. Anyway, let's go here and open up this area real quick. Ice cream cones. Get them. What are you doing?
Anyway, going up. Him to death. Nothing gross about that, I'll tell you. Let's see. Hmm. Doesn't really look like anything special, except possibly here. With that stuff on top of the little uh, bluff, it might be more interesting. Aha! Okay then. the direction I went to find uh, that horse originally, isn't it? Well, kind of. I actually went down here. But at any rate, there is stuff over here to explore. Okay, that's where the horse was stuck. Sells a cave here. Got some bait up there, which I could have used, but I sending guineas at them through the walls was at least as effective and kind of more fun. Hmm. Nothing else up here, though. Okay. Looks like a monster camp right there.
Oh, there's a piece of heart over there. Jerk! Okay. You idiot. Come on, finish him off already! You incompetent little... Stupid little... Okay, I'm really annoyed now. Threes, okay. Let's There we go. Alright, this shouldn't be too difficult. Let's try my new strategy. down here to check out this general area. So south we go. Oh, there's a warp spot here. Neato. Okay. I 
could do this rift by going up and around. Yeah, I'm getting too distracted as it is. <laughs> Hello, guys, um, potential new friend. So what we've got here is a uh, an arena for this guy. Okay, I can I have the jumping power to just get on top of these. Okay, no problem. There's no place here that I can't get to. Yeah. Let's see what his game is about. Now, where do they all end up? Um, up there? Oh, that's a fine how do you do. Gotta get the spider. Not too bad. Oh, oh. Thirty-six ninety-eight, huh? Is that fast enough for the bonus? Probably not. I'm guessing it has to be half time. Oh, actually. A steel trap. This broken trap still has sharp pointy teeth. It's too dangerous to use in this state. just weird. Um, a steel trap? Seriously, game? Just some random steel trap? Okay, well, let's go north, since that's more or less the direction we want to go anyway. I expect there would be a lot more space down here to explore. Okay. Reached the end of it. Nothing there. I was wondering, maybe there's some kind of, you know, stamp? One of those, you know, stamps that are sometimes in out-of-the-way places? 
Oh, well, there's one. Okay, so there's a cave here. going to be down there. But hey, I'll take a piece of heart, and it looks like there's something buried up there. Ah, I see. That's how you get to the piece of heart. Another piece of heart. Ah, I'm finding a lot of those things. Let's go the faster route. And now, where's the mole? There is the mole. Aha! Uh -huh. That one was short and sweet. Now then, let's see here. What's around this place? Oh, another treasure chest, eh? Hey? Come on, guys. Stop playing around with it. Just more uh, smoothie ingredients. But sure, why not? Oops. Oh, okay, money. I'll take that too. Okay, then. That's a fairly well explored looking map. Okay. Well, now, it is time to actually get back to the main event. And here we are. And uh, the treasure chest has respawned, has it? Okay. Well, might as well kill those guys again. Uh... Let's see, let's try these. Let's <laughs> go. 
Okay. Okay, you guys, you're not really accomplishing anything down there. Um, come on back. Money! Okay. Could always use a bit more of that. Okay, since these crates apparently have stuff in them. At least some of them do. Right then. Okay. direction do I want to go? Hmm. You know what? Nah, I think I'll go this way. Or not. Heart, eh? Well then, I definitely want that. Up we go. What? Oh, you jerk! Go after him and get burned to death. See if I can. Go straight up, please. Thank you. Wait a second. What's up there? Looks like there's nothing up there. Well, actually, there is something. Hmm. This rift here, how do I get past it? Looks like it's in my way. that diff tricky jump. Now I have to worry about falling rocks. And there's a lot of the blasted things. Okay, this is not good. <laughs>
This is like not good at all. Okay. I have an idea. Treasure chest, eh? How do I get over to it? I've never known what these monsters are called. Okay, well, build a bridge. Or hey, let's do something a bit more creative for a change. Hey. Exactly what I intended to do, but whatever. Um, let's see, where's the water thing? Here's the water thing. Hmm. Well, jump on it. Come on. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I didn't lose any hearts, at least. Where am I exactly? Hmm, quite a distance away. Goron City ahead. Oh, we're almost there. about that later. Now, yeah ha ha, look at this. Yeah, let's take care of this. See if we can power up Pen any.
sends my friends here, yada yada yada. Five of them. <laughs> they dove into the lava. The fools. This gap, though, no problem. Yep. All right, found the first one of those. That was quite a production. Come on, get over here. Over here, let me. There we go. What the? Okay, now I am annoyed, and you were going to die for that. Come on! It still had some knockback? Okay. Arrgh. I'm getting really annoyed. Blasted lava. Uh, that's fine. How do you do? 
Okay, never mind then. of power, but they're not anywhere near me. Hmm. Is that a new kind of Octorok? This is gonna work. Oh, nope, wrong one. Fire Octo. Geez, they're all in here. Um. Um. How the heck do I... That worked. Whew. 
That was actually a bit of a challenge. Okay, let's see if I can get to Goron City before the end of the episode. Oh, that was actually a lot. One more of these little rifts and I'll probably have them all the way up to level 7. Also... Aha, yeah, it does restore health. These guys, okay. Hey, the smoothie shop. Okay. And a uh, waypoint. Used a couple fire things. Let's make a few more. climbing speed. Well, aside from doing a lot of wall climbing right now, I do need more smoothies for that side quest thing. Sweet climbing smoothie. for automatons, I guess. And just normal healing.
Refreshing milky smoothie. Can I, is this like the maximum number of drinks I can have? Probably. Okay. There we go. We've got a Goron. Oh, oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Zelda, do you think this is one of the Gorons? Hi. Uh, hi, Lian. Oh, uh, welcome to Goron City. But this is no time for hellos. A rift sprung up and a bunch of my friends fell in. Hmm. And on top of that, Darston fell in after. Uh? He shouted that he'd save our friends, but he got too close and the rift swallowed him up. Uh. Oh, Darston. And you just became chief. Uh. Let's get to work, Zelda. What? Hi, I'm here to uh, close the rifts, etc, etc. What? You say you can fix rifts? Well, then maybe you can save my friends. Hurry, follow me. Thanks so much for helping us. This is the rift that swallowed Chief Darson and our friends. <laughs> ah, where is Papa? Hmm. Please do something, anything. We already tried of everything we can think of. Yeah, but that's gonna have to be in the next episode, I'm afraid, because we're out of time. But hey, we made it up to Goron City. I'm glad with that. So, uh, yeah, pretty productive. Did, uh, lots of exploring. Solved that one cave that, uh, stymied us in last time, the one in the graveyard. Opened up a lot of new areas of the map. Found lots of stuff. And made it all the way up to Goron City. So, very productive episode. I'm happy with this one. So, viewers, in the next episode, we'll take care of this business and then continue on around Goron City to see what we can see. Thanks for watching Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, and I'll see you next time.